If your users are waiting, you have already too late. The fast application doesn't react. They predict. They fetch data before the user even clicks. Think about your application. Every navigation shows a loading spanner. When user click a profile, spinner. Click settings, spinner. Click a dashboard, another spinner. And it just feels slow. Users expect instant transition, especially on mobile devices, where the network is slower and every delay feels worse. The problem is simple. You only fetch data after the user clicks. But most of the time, you can predict what they will do next. This idea isn't new. It's everywhere in computing. CPUs use branch predictions to guess which path you will take and preload instructions. Browsers prefetch CSS and JavaScript before you navigate. Even CDNs cache content at the edge before it's requested. The pattern is always the same. Predict the behavior, prepare it in advance. Your front end application can do the same thing. If a user hovers over a navigation link, they will probably click it. If they are reading a product page, they might open review next. And that's your cue to prefetch quietly in the background. In React application, it can look like this. You can register a most enter event handler to prefetch the page. And then when user hover on the link, it will fetch the data that needed for the next page. You can prefetch on hover, scroll, or even predict the next router after a page loads. It's a small change that makes the navigation feel instant. And in this board application, when I hover on the user avatar, there is a data fetch uh, sent out. And uh, when I click it, the data has already been there. Uh, so I can select the user immediately. The key idea here is don't wait, you predict. Use hover event, road prediction, and behavior patterns to load data earlier. So when users click, the data is already there. No spinners, no waiting. Your application just feels smooth, responsive, and fast.